this Citroen minivan can be safely called one of the brightest representatives of its class. It was his extraordinary design that was and still remains the main trump card in the confrontation with competitors. Moreover, it turned out to be so unusual and advanced that it does not look outdated and boring even today, when dealers offer an even more futuristic generation of this model. The hero of our material is built on a common platform with the Citroen C4 hatchback and shares a number of common components and assemblies with it. Moreover, in order to cover the widest possible range of consumers, there are two modifications in the arsenal of the minivan, the standard 5-seater Picasso and the extended 7-seater Grand Picasso. Both modifications have the same base, while the version of the Grand Picasso is 120mm larger than the Picasso, and the extended rear overhang made it possible to place two additional seats in the trunk. The body of the minivan is perfectly protected from corrosion. The use of alternative materials, plastic front fenders and an aluminum hood, contributes to increased resistance to rust. Another advantage of this model is high passive safety. She has the maximum 5 stars according to the results of the 2006 Euro NCAP crash tests. So long. The interior design of Picasso slash Grand Picasso is even more futuristic than the exterior, see photo, which, however, is very harmoniously linked to practicality and functionality. Inside there are many different sized compartments for small things, only on the dashboard, or closing glove compartments, one with cooling niches in the floor under the feet of the rear riders, reclining camping tables in the backs of the front seats. There are separate controls for the ventilation and heating system for front and rear passengers, the gear shift levers are removed from the central tunnel, so you can move from row to row without leaving the passenger compartment, and for the convenience of loading light luggage, the glass of the trunk lid opens separately from the door, option. The transformation system allows you to solve various transportation tasks. The only pity is that the second row seats are non-removable, the third row is hidden in the trunk floor. The interior design is even more futuristic than the exterior, the central location of the instrument panel, small LCD displays of the air conditioning system on the sides of the dashboard, a fixed steering wheel hub, only the steering wheel itself rotates, with a gear lever poker, a built-in air freshener, a lot of glove compartments, etc. The parking brake is activated using a button on top of the dashboard. Another advantage of the minivan is airiness, which is created by a large glazing area. For example, a huge windshield with an area of 2 square meters goes far onto the roof and provides excellent visibility. Even unusual double and thin front pillars contribute to it. The absence of a central tunnel body, a flat floor, a high ceiling and sufficient legroom even for tall people in the second row. But the spaces in the third row are just barely enough, of course, you can sit but it is advisable to drive for short distances or place children there. The interior transformation system consists of three separate second row seats that slide back slash forward, their backrests slightly change the angle of inclination in two positions and are thrown forward. At the same time, the seats are non-removable, and it is impossible to remove them from the cabin. In seven-seater versions, to provide access to the third row, pull up the second row seat cushion towards the back, and then it will drive up close to the front seat. Engine. The line of engines designed for the minivan includes gasoline and diesel engines. Although, gasoline is more common in our country, pre-styling cars were equipped with 1.8 and 2.0 liter engines, and since 2010 they have been replaced by 1.6 liter units of the new EP family, developed jointly by PSA and BMW Concerns, which are also installed on the Peugeot 308 and Mini Cooper. These engines are equipped with a number of modern systems, direct fuel injection, variable valve timing and valve lift, a pump and an oil pump equipped with mechanisms that increase the efficiency of these units, and in turbocharged engines, also a turbine with two blades, each operating from its own pair of cylinders, which significantly reduces the effect of the turbo lag. High-tech power units turned out to be more problematic. So, due to low-quality fuel, carbon deposits form on the valves over time, and the hydraulic compensators fail to work out the increased gaps, which is manifested by the characteristic knock of the valves and the check engine light. As a preventive measure, the mechanics of a branded service station recommend regularly, every 5,000 kilometers, adding an additive to the fuel to remove carbon deposits. In addition, in a turbocharged engine, due to the long service intervals for oil changes recommended by the plant, 20,000 kilometers in all units, and, accordingly, the deterioration of its quality by 80 to 100,000 kilometers, 
the solenoid valves of the timing phase control system fail and stretch single row timing chain. To extend the life of timing units, Minders advise reducing the lubricant change interval to 10,000 km, as well as using grease only with a viscosity of 5W30. An oil leak from under the seal of the electrical wiring for connecting the oil pump and a failure of the coolant temperature sensor were noted. The timing of 1.8 and 2.0 liter gasoline engines, and all diesel engines, is equipped with a belt, which is recommended to be changed along with the rollers every 80,000 km. At the same time, you need to install a new water pump, driven by the timing belt. A larger gasoline unit is more sensitive to fuel quality, this affects its operation. The only characteristic problem of 2.0 liter engines is that the gasket of the coolant temperature sensor dries up and loses its tightness over time. Of the diesel versions, cars with a 1.6 liter engine are more common. They are distinguished by high torque, fuel efficiency, about 6.5 liters in the urban cycle, and digest our diesel fuel well. A feature of the versions imported from abroad is that they were equipped with particulate filters, and when buying those with mileage of more than 100,000 kilometers, it is imperative to check the level of the additive design to clean the filter. If there is none, the filter quickly becomes unusable, leading to problems in the operation of the power unit. It is strictly forbidden to fill an ordinary diesel fuel instead of an additive in order to save money. Transmission All Picasso slash Grand Picasso are front-wheel drive cars that were equipped with three types of gearboxes, manual transmission, diptronic automatic transmission, with the possibility of manual gear shifting, as well as robotic mechanics with automatic gear shift and clutch control drives. Mechanics and automatic are trouble-free, and the robot on the machines of the first years of production. 2006 to 2008, could cause trouble, the hydraulic release bearing was leaking. Later, the bearings were upgraded, and they became reliable. Robot may not appeal to everyone, it shifts gears with jerks, which is a design feature of many such gearboxes. The maintenance of the automatic transmission consists in regular, every 60,000 kilometers, replacement of the lubricant. Moreover, it is recommended to fill in only ATF LT71141 synthetic oil, the use of other lubricants can prematurely disable the unit. Mechanics and robot are less demanding, the lubricant is designed for the entire service life of these units. Suspension Chassis Picasso slash Grand Picasso is simple, an independent McPherson is used in front, and a semi-independent twisting beam is used in the back. Its main advantage is durability. On our roads, the original stabilizer struts are able to withstand 80 to 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks and ball bearings of the front levers, 100 to 150,000 kilometers, and the gum of the rear beam are considered eternal and change extremely rarely. Another important plus of the suspension is that all consumables are offered separately from the levers. The trunk of the five-seat version of Picasso in the stowed state is 290 liters more than that of the seven-seat version where it is conditional with the third row installed, 210 liters in total. But if you fold the gallery chairs or even the second rows, then the advantages of the elongated versions of the Grand Picasso are obvious. The steering is equipped with an electro-hydraulic booster. With runs of about 200,000 kilometers, this unit can create problems. Failures of electric motors have been noted. But consumables are durable. Steering rods serve on average about 80,000 kilometers, and their tips, 150,000 kilometers. Brake system. There are no claims to the reliability of the braking system. The parking brake is supplied with the electric drive. By default, the ECU is configured so that the handbrake can work automatically. When the engine is turned off, it blocks the rear brakes, and when the movement starts, it quickly releases the pads. However, this function can be easily disabled on your own, and then the handbrake will only work from the corresponding button on the dashboard. Mechanics emphasize that on old cars, the parking brake cables need to be changed only at a branded service station, an unqualified replacement threatens that the new handbrake will not work. Weak spots. On cars of the first years of production, 2006 to 2008, the glove box latch broke, and it did not close. Later it was modernized. If the seats of the third row are not completely expanded, and then closed again, they are blocked in the half-open position restore the operation of the mechanism will be able to company service. On 2006 to 2008 cars, the rubber coating of the climate control buttons is fragile. Later it was improved. It will also cover the rubber on the inner door handles, often the drivers, and the buttons on the center console. 
1.6-liter petrol engines require regular use of a fuel additive, otherwise deposits will form on the valves over time. 